Rum sweetness. Very wicked friend Nakisha there. Remember, she cut Jesus' slippers. Teeth in brief. So, this morning we go live about 6 o'clock US time, 5 o'clock Jamaican time. We have a very, very, very um, serious conversation. And then my phone battery just dead. Because you know, me did um, plug in the charger, but it come like the charger is not good. So it never charge the phone, and me think it charge the phone. So the phone just got dead. Um, may I wear my Warriors jersey, one of them. You know me about 20, 25 Warriors jersey. See? The basketball season about to start. Them are the little road thing them now, and Warriors, they are Japan. I want to say this from early. LeBron James fans do not, do not speak to me about basketball and betting on them something. See? Every season, LeBron James fans them talk a bag of thing, and when it come to bet, them say, yeah, me a bet, me a bet. Yeah, when them bet, I'm a win, them now want to pay. Singer J just paying bill over there. After NBA done how long in paying bills, so big up Singer J. Him did bet me five bills and him never pay me. So I book a show for him and collect my five bills and give him the rest of my money. Benji Hype did a care of Boston. Hype up him like yourself. Bet me two bills. Beat him bad in pay him two bills. You have one at Jamaica where claim that he knew about basketball more than anybody else. And he's a basketball guru. And this and that and this and that. He named Taz. The one that sing life is like young Linda win. I'll know he can't pay me my hundred dollar. Remember I bet hundred dollar and I invested in bet the least money. You know, and still can't pay me all now. So I don't want no LeBron James fans talk to me about nothing. Cause on the words alone I have on the, on the cheap. Talk is cheap. When it comes to betting time on the freight, cause I don't know nothing about basketball and then I'm not confident in on a player on a team. Me bet money because me confident I mean no basketball. I mean no where I go work and what can't work. Yeah, so Taz, you need to pay me my hundred dollar brother. People, may I show you how the man when it comes to betting the man a low life. You know say when we murder Boston, see? The man nah answer no call, nah nothing. I told me change my number, me get to him. Come change my number you know, and get to him. You know. Zin? So, me just a say, me no want on the internet talking with me about basketball. Zin? Because obviously, on a basketball liar. Zin? I just want to understand. Remember, say, when you say we now got ever see another ring in And we come dominate. Only they even make play in, much less play off, much less finals. See? So, I just want to know if you understand. No man. We are run with no Lebron and no Lake, no talk to me. When you prove so, when you, when you, when you lay, when you weak. Because if you strongly believe something, you must can bet on it. See? And me bet on it. So my team, I go win. I bet five bills with Singer J, two bills with Benji, hundred dollar with Taz. That's how much. And nine bills that. I eight bills. So if me did lose, me would I lose eight hundred dollar. But me know me never like a lose. Car. If when Steph Curry alone I play, when a BL he could have beat with, or we and Lakers go playing, then we have 
dream and healthy, clear healthy and curry healthy and the really things that they work. Plus additions of Wiggins and Jordan Pool. I don't think when they go in. You know how you hear that? You hear them say, Marcus Smart, T.O.P. Defensive Player of the Year. Ray, Ray, Ray. Him get Defensive Player of the Year because Draymond get injured for about two months. So the two months of Draymond injured, he might capitalize. While Draymond did a play, our team did a play, it was all Draymond. So, I don't understand when injury beat the side, you know, act like a uno beat the side. Him uno get defensive player of the year if Draymond never injured. Come on, fierce reality, know the game. So, them bet, and then them lose, and then they don't want to pay. Gandhi, him now, him worse than everybody else. Kaima Kara Lebron, and him afraid for bet. So, oh, you believe in your player, you're afraid to bet for your player. Gandhi are the worst, better you stop coming. Because you rate LeBron so much, but you're afraid to put your money to bet for LeBron. Me rate Warriors and Curry, me not afraid to bet for them, no time. I'm a better and win. And when I win, then can't pay. People remember Gandhi on the bet for ass, you know. In the bet for player, you know. You yeah, remember how oh, I said about you know? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Gandhi, make a bet from now. Make a bet from now. Make a bet a thousand dollars from now. Gandhi, make a bet a thousand dollars from now, please. I will give somebody a thousand dollars to keep. May I give my thousand dollars to the person? You hear a thousand dollars to the person. So when the winnings come, nobody now have to call nobody for their money. Deal or no deal? No, Gandhi, I don't want to bet five bills. Thousand dollars I want to bet. You know, celebrate my boss. So bet money for the back. Me, I bet for Curry and Golden Street Warriors. Thousand dollars. Where are bets again, Gandhi? You yeah, bet the Lakers win the, the, the chip? Me I bet the Warriors win the chip. That you yeah, bet? Come down here not talking now. Anything you agree for bet for not that are working. Sherry, so go on. Talk to me again, the man. Candy, what you say? Lakers are win? You mean win the, the, the ring? Like the complete thing? That you bet? <laughs> Weird people, let me hear this good. Let me hear this good. Gandhi, more you type people on a screenshot this. People on a screenshot this, you know. Come down on a man, say not the way to People screenshot this, no man. Gandhi, where you say? All right. Since Grandmaster Imhotep wants something to go viral, so them can run them vlog and get some money. I deliberately not speaking on the bone tequila Ricky Chupa situation. Only listen to me now. I deliberately don't speak on the bone tequila. Ricky Chupa situation. Reasons be. Listen. Bonticular is a person where the whole heap are good for me and in the whole heap are bad to me. Zin? So, when me I speak about Bonticular and I war with killer, me I war on my, on my own behalf. Zin? Ricky Chupa and killer are friend, enemy, friend, enemy. 
them vex them grieve at the ev when Chupa speaking bit me can't say nothing Chupa know why I speak the way where I speak me not go go in it go help Chupa beat killer and me not go go in it go defend killer you understand what I say me a stereotype me the two of them deal with them thing cause when me a deal with my thing nobody can't tell me nothing see so me not have no opinion in that. Remember, say at the end of the day, I want to listen me good. Killer, the whole heap are good for footer hype, and the whole heap are bad to footer hype. So when me get mad, and I cuss and I say my thing, me I speak my truth, you see me? So, if truth I feel, if it talk or him feel, I feel business. And if killer feel for talk or him feel about trooper, I feel them business. See? When me get mad at my head chip out and me talk with more talk, nobody can tell me nothing what he say. So me can't tell Chupa what he say and me can't tell Killer what he say. Deal? That's why I mean I'm talking about it. Them say sometimes if you not have good for say, you say nothing. In other case, you have to love them. And I like me see how nobody at this killer where not involved in a killer life. Or killer attack somebody when I, the two of them have to do with one another life trooper and killer live upon the same building for 20 years the two of them are did friend turn enemy and everything men are business with it you understand me I say that I feed them thing when it come to Bunty killer Movado the Mali them Mama Kingston Me, me choose wisely when me I deal with because of people them when me have different levels of respect for you understand yeah so I want to understand me no business that you understand me anyway me could talk about Stone Boy, I say, reggae, a African thing, right? Come, me, 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 DM full up from morning. Go your right foot, big up yourself. From morning, me, DM full. People are go mad. Zin, I say, Oh, Stone Boy, if you say that. Now, me, I go give my little three cent for what Stone Boy say. Me think him right and him wrong. See? Stone Boy to me, right and him wrong. Him right, it, me, me feel like the way I'm bringing it across to you. Know. Him not explain himself properly, see? Here we go on with Stone Boy now. Him right in the sense where he must say, all black people are Africans. So what him basically a try to say now, he might try to say, it's an African thing. Because all the black people in Jamaica are African. That's what he might try to say. Zin, he might try to say, of course it's an African thing because Jamaicans are really Africans. You understand me? When I'm going to get what I say. But he not fully explained so it will seem offensive. Like he might say, are we thief reggae from them then? You see me? So, no, the, the origin of reggae never come from Africa. You know? This is what I'm going to explain to you now why it seemed like him has said something wrong. Him fi explain, say, listen, the life form of black people originate in Africa. So everything where black people promote and own and everything is African. And that note that you can't fight him because yes, we are Africans. We were taken from Africa and spread out in the rest of the world. But, 
Stone Boy, if you remember this, say, Reggae never exists until we don't have Jamaica. And it never start to Africa and come to Jamaica. The people are originally from Africa. But the genre reggae was created in Jamaica. Was given us to us by God in Jamaica. Not in the African region. Where African people to the come like different tribe then. And a certain tribe of a certain way of praying and celebrating. Reggae is a Jamaican celebration. A set of African people will get a distinctive music for themselves. So, the way I say it, the way I say it, is like we are take them thing then. No, we don't take our thing. Because we are Africans in Jamaica. Reggae never exists till it exists at Jamaica. So I can't borrow, we borrow nothing from you. You understand? So you don't have to understand. Me, whoever's way must say, you no. Know. Me, whoever's way must say, must say, basically everything belongs to Africa because the people are African. You understand? Ancestral wise and origin wise, the people are from Africa. But reggae was never created in Africa. You understand what I say? One day, you understand what I say. So, in our sense, him right, because we all belong to Africa. You understand what I say? We all belong to Africa. But, reggae was never created in Africa. Ricky Chu, I don't know how it's not at the boss. Ricky Chu, I don't know how it's not at the end. I don't know how it's not at the end of Ricky Chu. Let me see. Yes, Claude. Ricky, I don't know how it's not. Come like me do fuckery. Step up, boss. It say you're unable to join here, sir. Yeah, so I mean, I think Stone Boy really have nothing against Jamaican still. You see me? I mean, I think him I speak from an original standpoint of the people. You see me? So, big up Stone Boy. I now say Stone Boy. I'm not going to say Stone Boy eat Jamaican or he might fight Jamaican. He just speak from a general standpoint so all the way are African. No matter where in the world, they are African. As black people, they are African. You see me? Exactly. I don't mean, think he have nothing against Jamaican. He just, he just not bring across the message right. And you know, Jamaican, patriotic. The simplest thing we feel like somebody has style. We understand him, eh? Yeah. So, I just the way him say. But what him has said right, and what we have said right. See, what him has said right, and what we have said right. Because we are the originators of reggae and dancer, yes. But he must say, well, we are Africans, so are still African thing. You understand? He now look upon it from a Jamaica, Africa standpoint. He must look upon it from the 
the ancestral heritage and the origin of the people. You understand? If you even eat, all right. Him say something will make a whole heap of sense, you know. Him say, him can do all different genres of music, but him resignate with reggae and dance all because of the message. And at this may I try, at this may I try, tell people from morning, dance all and reggae and I just get up and sing. The message in it is very important. That's why when we see some youth and some girl at the reggae and dance hall and I dirty up the message, it hurt me because it showed me so they don't know what they are about. You can at the reggae and dance hall and I sing say girl for sleep with girl. You can I sing reggae and dance hall and I say girl for day with girl. Them thing in you know, a thing. You can do reggae and dance and promote say girl for suck cock and girl for name crutches. Them thing they are not eat. You are destroy the ingredient. And a side work. You have to sing about the struggle. You have to sing about the blessing. You have to sing about the happiness. You have to sing about the sadness. And them thing that You understand me? The message is important. And I only the beat. Make it reggae and dance all, you know? The message is very important. Are different elements of what it is that makes it reggae and dance all. You understand? You can't just get up and sing any look of nastiness where you feel like pa, pa, reggae and dance all track your mad. Remember, me see artists say them a rasta. We say them a promote righteousness. Because there's no two way about it. In. If you're in a reggae, they are promote righteousness, black struggle, black empowerment, black liberty, black unity, the way of nature. That's the way reggae are dealing with rasta thing and the way of nature, the natural order of the universe. Now, if you say you are Rasta and you are promote Rasta thing, how can you a promote a girl will come out and say she a lesbian? That go against where you stand for. How can you openly, blatantly hear a girl come out? She never come out and say she's sorry for do it. She come out and promote say she do it and so what? And then as she uh, promotes, as you say, you yeah, preach righteousness. That, that contradicting for me. That not make no sense to me. You know, if I may alone see something wrong with that. But something seriously wrong with that. Because righteousness and homosexuality don't go together at all. None at all. So whether you're cool with the person or not, you promoting that person is contradicting what you are saying. And the energy where you take on, because you say you take on a righteous energy. See? So, oh, you promote somebody where shit for righteousness. Oh, you do that. It, it, it's contradictory. You say you're a Rasta artist and you push righteousness. But you're opening up by your poor where you are par with an throw by your gram. A lesbian that can make a sense? It, how does that work? <laughs> me not try to bash nobody and me not try to hurt nobody's feelings, but me just have to speak the truth. How that work? What do you mean by reggae never burn out them people? Eh? You never hear Bob Marley sing long time from man to man. It's so unjust. It's different. We use different words. They always have burn it. Why do you think reggae always promote the black man and the black woman? K. 
king and queen. It's the same thing. He's just dancing more raw with it. I say, any hey, boy, fuck what if he did or any girls sleep with it. It's just more raw. But reggae is more sugar coated and sewed into the soul. You understand? But the same thing them have gone out from a long time. You never hear a warrior king say, well, a real man can live without a woman. Shuba, shuba, then, shuba, shuba. The message has been there all along. It's just dance all more raw. Dance all is like an uncut, unpolished diamond. While reggae now cut and polish and more soothing. You understand what I'm saying? So me don't understand all them nowadays reggae artists here. We say them are dealing with righteousness. Your protege, your, your, your artist, so you push pan the nation. A openly, openly gay. Oh, oh. Me still a try figure it out. And then they would have tried to cause foot and say foot and chat too much and in this and that. But brother, you can't you with yourself. When we come out as full-fledged reggae artists, we have spit righteousness. Put your, the person beside you, a shit by righteousness. How, how, how that work? So you tell me, so you know, no straight, talented artist where you can make a part of your team? Because if you have somebody as part of your team in a reggae, and them come out, come say them openly gay, and them shaky. You drop them. Make them go by the gear where they go look food. You cannot feed the enemy of righteousness and still expect to be righteous. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I want to tell me if I lie, me I tell. Am I lying? Tell me if I'm lying. See, so I tell me, say, no more female artists not in the reggae world were straight. Or even if they're not straight, watch this, show them a bigger thing. Say them not straight. They have never yet advertised, say them not straight. Una run with artists who advertise publicly, say them not straight. And then still, I didn't see when I promote and I put on Instagram as Rasta. So when I Rasta, so when I promote righteousness. Me have a big problem with that. Me have a big, big problem with that. That, that makes no sense to me. That contradictory as fuck. That, that makes me can't take. Me could have never take a righteous talk right now for none of them so called rest of it. We say them have spit righteousness. And them right and a left hand a lesbian. Then I what kind of inspiration you can give me? What kind of motivational talk you can give me? When you are this righteous to see this the universe right in front of me. That coming like come and see some girl. So them I go through them problem and thing. And when them put up on them page, them put up on a Batman and give motivational speech. Then which motivational speech you could have give me when you were confused and don't know the right thing to do? You could have give me motivational speech? You confused till you a man and I sleep with a man. Then I what kind of conscious reasoning you could have give me? You can't give me a conscious reasoning. You could have never give me the conscious reasoning. You can't motivate me if you do not know. Why would I want to follow in your footstep? <laughs> what kind of advice you could have given me when you don't know yourself? Did that make sense? <laughs>